hello it's maddie from create your future so i just want to come on here and talk a little bit about fear living in fear how to release it how to identify it and also how to allow so that we can release the fear properly and create the new life that we want and live in abundance so uh, I don't want to sound too cheesy when I say things like that. So we'll get into some examples, maybe some techniques, uh, see how we can play around with it a little bit. Everybody's different. Not all manifestation is one size fits all. Um, so I will give out a few suggestions on this topic. And then you can kind of go from there and pick and choose what you would like to do. But before we get into this video, I just want to say that we are having a contest. If you want to know more about the contest, you can look in the description box down below. It will give you some more details. And um, I always say this in every video, but I would love to see what you guys have been manifesting. So if you want to comment down below, I would love to read through your comments. I always do when I am looking at uh, videos and things like that to see what you guys are manifesting, successes, how I can intend for you to get past some of your blocks. And also, if you would like to book coaching with me, that is also going to be in the description box. I would love to help you and to allow you to get past some of those specific things you may not be, be able to identify with yourself. So let's get into it. Allowing fear. So when we get into fear a lot, it can seem really debilitating. We often, you know, experience a lot of anxiety and uh, a lot of frustration, doubt, basically not regulating yourself or your state. So what I mean by that is you're not in a state of peace. You're not in a state of gratitude or, you know, just bliss overall. Usually you feel a lot happier, just a lot more grounded with yourself and your mind. Your mind doesn't really go off on tangents. And obviously there's going to be some days where, you know, we might be thrown off a little bit and that's totally okay. We're human. Remind yourself of that on the days that seem a little bit harder for you is that I'm a human. I'm allowed to have human moments and I will pick myself back up doesn't ruin anything doesn't mean that I messed everything up in my life but I'm going to allow this fear and I'm going to run with it so something that I like to do when it comes to fear is let's say anxiety is coming up and let's say you know just a really bad emotion it doesn't have to be anxiety it could be just a very negative emotion and let's say it just comes out of nowhere or it comes in a situation happens I like to take a step back and really see what my mind is focusing on. I'll even ask my mind, what, what am I thinking about right now? And my mind will tell me. And sometimes it's like, well, you're not good enough. This person's not going to give you what you want. You're going to have to work really hard to get this thing. And it may not even pay off. And so I kind of let my mind do its thing. Where I will allow it to come forward and tell me I did ask for it. I do want to know what it's thinking so I can know exactly how to affirm and where my mind is going and why I feel this in general. So I'll allow, I'll watch my thoughts, I'll observe them and I won't attach fear to them. Like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking this thing. Like it's obviously going to manifest. My life is over kind of thing. <laughs> More of that. I'm going to observe these thoughts and I'm going to allow them to release themselves. They're coming up to get released so I don't have to keep repeating these stories. So for example, you're not good enough. I intend that I feel and believe that I am good enough. You're definitely not going to get what you want. The universe is always working in my favor. I already have all the things that I want. I'm not wanting for anything. Therefore, it's already done. And then, you know, just you kind of go from there. You can create your own intention. You can use some of the ones that I have in past videos or in this one. I'll lay out some, some more throughout the video as well. Um, but that's one technique to use or just a self-regulating tool in order for you to get back to a state where you... Don't feel this anxiety. Don't feel these negative, you know, patterns anymore. And you can go forward with your day feeling pretty peaceful and your mind will be a lot more clear for you to do your specific intentions towards the things that you actually want and the storyline that you want to go for. Instead of settling in your mind, like I've talked in past videos with this, you know, old crappy story that we have, 
We're just going to identify it. But let's say that doesn't work. Let's say you're not getting answers. You feel really stuck. That's okay. Something that I definitely advocate for is maybe writing it down. All of your frustrations, no filter, not worrying if it's going to manifest or not, because sometimes we just have to let it out. It's a lot of resistance. It happens, especially when we're starting our manifesting journey or we're manifesting something new. Um, this can also happen if you feel like you're going through a purge period, a little transitional period where you're seeing a lot of opposite results. Instead of blaming yourself and saying, well, this is all my fault. I'm not getting what I want. You know, we're going to turn that around and we're going to view this like, well, something had to shift in order for me to get this thing. If it ha was going to stay the same, it was just going to be the same old story. So therefore, something has to change. Sometimes it happens the way we did not anticipate. This is where you throw out the how. And this is when I get most of my clients coming to me, even friends, family, people in general, they're always confused as to, well, I really wanted this thing. And now I get the complete opposite. I've been affirming for this amount of time and it's not working. And I'm like, no, it's just that something had to shift. So let's just say that you really wanted $10,000 a month, but your job was only willing to pay you like $3,000 a month. So you're affirming, I get $10,000 a month with ease and no effort. I don't have to do anything differently. I just, I receive $10,000 a month for just being myself, right? So let's say that as an example, you start affirming that and you get fired out of nowhere, just get fired or your job lets you go because they're, you know, their company is tanking. Not that you did anything wrong. Remember, something had to shift. If you want to make $10,000 a month, and yes, you could affirm for this job, but let's just say the path of least resistance takes over and you actually get a better position, something that, you know, you might have wanted actually more, but you didn't even realize it yet. And it makes you happier and actually pays you $10,000 a month without you having to reason with it, without you feeling like you have to manipulate the 3D, things like that. Now you actually make $10,000 a month with ease and with just being yourself. So take that as an example of letting go of the fear, releasing it, allowing it, not necessarily giving into it as far as like, oh, I have to believe this and can, you know, I'm just, you're facing it. You're finally facing it. Don't be afraid of the transitional period either. Something has to move. If you thought this was going to be graceful every single time, I'm here to tell you, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. It's not always the flowers and rainbows. I mean, we can affirm that it is, but path of least resistance will always take over. So just know that it's not anything that you're doing wrong. You just keep affirming. It will come to you. The ideas will come to you. You don't have to continue to manipulate. Here's another example I want to give you about trying to control the 3D. So when it comes to you controlling it, um, let's just say you put in a Starbucks order, right? And let's say you order a Frappuccino. I just really have been liking Frappuccinos lately, so I'm using it as an example. Let's say you order it, you go to, you know, pay for it or whatever, and you see them making it. And let's just say you're focusing on the how, right? You put in your order to, you know, the universe, your subconscious mind. You're probably not going to sit there and be like, I wonder how they're going to make it. I wonder how this transitional period is going to go. How are they making my drink? Are they going to make it correctly? Some of us really have to ask that at Starbucks. I don't blame you. Fix that. They always make my drink perfectly. Anyways, um, but like, you're probably not thinking that the whole time. This is where we get into that thought of fear. This is where a lot of our thought transmission goes and where we're not regulated at all. And this is when the fear starts spewing out. So when we try to manipulate the 3D, we may try to ask them, let's just continue on with the example. How are you making my drink? When is it going to be done? Are you done? What, do we really ask that at Starbucks? They're quick. You know, we know that. It's fine. But we're probably not going to go through the window and try to do the drink ourselves because we're worried that it's not going to happen the way we want or that it's not going to happen in the time frame that we want. I really hope you say no to that, by the way, that you wouldn't just crawl through the drive through window and try to make the drink yourself from your car. If you do, I really need you to regulate more. 
<laughs> but this is something that's just an example of us trying to control the 3D. It might seem a little dramatic, but a lot of the times that's kind of what I see is that we put in an order, we say our intention, and then immediately we get anxiety, we have a lot of fear come up, we have a lot of insecurity come up, and then all of a sudden we're trying to crawl through the window of a Starbucks. Not physically, but in our mind. To control everything to see that it follows through. So don't do that. Trust yourself more. I have more videos on not settling for less in your mind or in your 3D reality. But this also goes with not trying to chase after things just because you don't know how it's going to happen. You need to regulate your state more. I always get what I want. The universe is always working in my favor. If you don't want to say the universe, you could say, you know, I always create the things that I desire. I already have everything that I could ever want. It's always being given to me. Things like that. It really is supposed to be easy. Like if you feel you are in a state of fear or lack, if you are going back to the old story, ask yourself, does the version of me that has this thing, whatever it is, would they be doing this? Would they be thinking these thoughts? If I was the person that already had this, would I know that it's done and I already have it? And would all my thoughts reflect that? Or would I be trying to manipulate everything? Would I be trying to chase after my person, seeing when he's going, he or she, when they were going to text me? Or would I be trying to chase after you know, this job or this money? Would I be focusing every day on why it's not here? No, I would know that it's done. I have $10,000 a month with ease and no effort just for being myself. My person is absolutely obsessed with me. We are in a happy, committed relationship. I'm going to be the person that's in a happy, committed relationship. Does it mean that you have to text your person every day right now if your 3D is not reflecting the full manifestation it just means that you are already in a state in your mind where you are already aligned with that and everything else will have to align to you as well it's okay not everything needs to happen immediately not every transitional period takes five minutes be kind to yourself know that not everything has to take time but if it does take longer than what you think it should doesn't mean it's not working, doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. It's just that there are moving pieces behind the scenes that you may not see. You could intend that I always get evidence in my 3D reality every day. I always see my intentions happen every single day in my 3D reality, whatever you want to say, whatever resonates with you. But at the same time, I don't want you to put so much pressure on yourself that you're living every day feeling like you have a really bad mental state, you're struggling with your mental diet, and also you're just becoming really sad. Like you might feel really unhealthy because your mind is just not aligning with the desires in your life. You might have, you know, just really poor self-concept when it comes to that stuff because you're constantly looking, you're constantly chasing, you're constantly wanting to know when, where, how. Drop the notion. Stop living in fear. Face it for what it is. This is fear. This is insecurity. It's okay that I have this. Everybody has this. I'm a human. This is where we go forward. This is how we go forward. This is your how. Not how it's going to unfold. Not how it's going to manifest. Not everything in between. None of our business doesn't matter. The how is facing your fear and deciding... This is an old story that I don't like. With the version of me that I want to be that has this thing or this life, would this be how I would think? Would this be how I would love myself? If I really love myself, would I think this way? Would I act this way? Would I treat myself this way? Would I think about my person this way? Would I think about money this way or my health? Probably not. So keep that in mind <laughs> and going forward, just know that you are good enough. You can have your desires. It's okay to face your fear and to face the negative thought and or feeling. It's meant to come up for a reason. It wants you to let go. One thing I want you to say, if it does come up and let's just say facing it doesn't work, an affirmation that's really worked is that I allow and I am giving myself permission, however you want to phrase it, 
in the beginning, I give myself permission to release the old story and replace it with thoughts that serve me. It'll make a huge difference, I promise. But the thoughts that you had that aren't serving you, they need to be released. So therefore, you are giving yourself permission to release them now. Um, I intend that all of this helped all of you. That you go forward facing your fear, get the life that you want and you deserve. And you keep reminding yourself that you are the prize. You are the one on the pedestal no matter what the thing is that you're trying to manifest. It's already working out in your favor. And this video is even a bridge of incidents towards what you're getting. Take this as a sign. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.